Ladies and gents, welcome to a best of five round of 16 in the Hidden Cup 3 qualifiers. We have the Lord Doubt versus the God Huang. Doubt is playing as the Celts! Doubt has gone for Celts! That's Huang Siv, you cheater! And Huang has gone for Persians! Wait a second, is this backwards? Is this backwards? I think, do we, do we genuinely have the Sivs backwards? Wait a sec, hold on a second, hold, I'm confused. I'm confused, is this correct? I genuinely, I'm looking at the town setters, why I'm confused is because it says 2400 HP on Doubt's TC, it says 2400 HP on Huang's TC. But because of the overlay, I can't click a unit and have it say, it's Khmer. This is Khmer, I don't know these little things here, alright? So, that's wrong then. Hold on. Is our preset wrong? This is definitely not my fault. Robo says, my bad, sorry. Alright, so we have Khmer for Huang. And Doubt is Celts. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Let me let's see if I can update this. Blame Robo with some Dan's games in the chat. So, we have a meme Civ for a meme matchup. But, but honestly, guys, this is very serious, right? Doubt participated... In Hidden Cup 1, he participated in Hidden Cup 2, and this is the biggest prize pool a 1v1 event has had in a long, long time. <gasps> Will Doubt see the sheep? <gasps> Doubt won't see the sheep. He might see the sheep. He won't see the sheep. He could lame Huang if Huang's not careful. But anyways, uh, if Doubt were to lose here today, it would be a huge, huge surprise. Uh, but Huang is the type of player who can beat anyone. He has beat literally every top player at least once or twice in rated games. He's dangerous. I don't know how prepared he is. I don't know how his nerves will be. Uh, when I first approached back, because I wanted to get Huang's email. Huang doesn't have an AOE zone account. He doesn't read his messages on Twitch. I didn't know how to contact him. I said to Bact, I said, do you think that Huang will ever play tournaments? And Bact said, Bact no care. Oh, no, no, Back said, Huang no care, he just like play. That's what Back said to me. But I ended up getting Huang's email, and a lot of you guys have been subbing to his YouTube channel and watching his stream, and he doesn't have a mic or anything, but I can tell he appreciates it. And maybe he just did this for you, or maybe he feels like, wow, I've been doing really well on the ladder. Maybe I actually have a chance here. Uh, normally what Huang does is a drush into some type of forward forward uh, Maganel push, but with Khmer, is he going to go for something else? Sometimes the best way to beat Huang is to Huang Huang. The doubt space is very compact here. I, I think it's awkward on the front, but very compact. You could wall the left and maybe go for that drush. And there it is! Huang is making the barracks! Let's go! Doubt was not happy to find out that he was up against Huang. He wanted any other high seed. Here's here's the barracks, which means that Huang will soon start making those militia. I've never seen Huang play as Khmer though. In rated games, you could pick whatever. I kind of expected Celts or Spanish or Huns or uh, Mongols, but I oh down almost lost Seville. But I I never would have expected Khmer here. Oh God. <laughs> That is such a <laughs> that is such a Huang boar lore, man. Oh, it's not right, guys. It's Huang. Oh. Well, here come the militia. That is the worst boar lore you will see in the qualifiers, that's for sure. But it doesn't matter because Huang, he's not about efficiency. He never has been, and he makes it work anyways. What's Doubt up to here? It looks like man and Huang, Huang. Is he going man at arms with Celts? Okay, he sees the militia from Huang. He knows Huang, so he knows that Huang wants to make the militia. Will Doubt just make his own militia? Yeah. Yeah, I think Doubt is adapting and making his own militia. This is a good move from Doubt. Just make your own. You have Celts. You have the faster militia. Nice hit for Doubt. Now, how many militia will Huang make? <laughs> how many militia will he make? When will it stop? You never know when it's gonna stop. See Doubt getting Loom, so he's prepped and he's pretty much doing the Huang build with Huang's favorite Civ, so... The thing is, Celts have the faster Militia and you would expect the Micro to be better, but then again, it's Doubt, so... 
Sorry, Doubt, but... Doubt is known for his macro, not necessarily his micro. Four Militia versus three. Huang was faster, and Doubt's taking some hits that he will not want to take. Guys, if you try and Huang Huang, and he's been doing the same thing for thousands of games, is it the correct play? Now, Doubt doesn't know when it's going to stop. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh my god. We're going to look back after all, even the Hidden Cup main event, and remember this best of five. Here come the militia. They continue. Doubt is kind of overwhelmed at the moment. There's militia everywhere. Huang, run back. Run back. As Scout goes down for Huang, I think this is a misplay for Huang to be fighting there. Doubt now has four militia, and it's four... Uh, for Huang, but Huang doesn't have his scout, and Doubt, he takes a good engagement. That was well played from him to use the villagers for the, for the moment, and Huang, he makes a mistake, and now this, this could be really bad for him, because you can't run away from Kelt Militia. Also love how Doubt has been using the scout in the micro battles. Alright, so, we see the, the T90 farms a bit from Huang, so they're not too bad. He has stopped producing militia for now, but it might be because he doesn't have the food yet. See, Doubt doesn't know. He's he's just defending. I feel like Doubt should push out. I really feel like Doubt should should try and push forward. Instead, he's staying at home. And Huang is building a house next to the deer so he can take the deer. And he has produced another one. It's like both players are looking for each other at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Neither wants to push out. Okay, and Dal is on the way to Feudal Age, so this is what you can expect from here. You can expect a crap ton of Kelt Man at Arms. Because Dal's producing now, after the fact, and he has one of the best Man at Arms sieves, so if this is the case, uh, Huang could be in some real trouble if he doesn't engage before the Man at Arm upgrade comes in. Now, Doubt will see this, and this is important because now Doubt knows that he's be fighting at a numbers disadvantage, so he needs to actually avoid taking any fights. I really like Doubt's current position, and Huang is still producing Militia. Guys, he's he's going to produce them non-stop. He can't stop. Because if he stops, it'll be Kelt Man at Arms against his Militia, and he'll lose. He has to continue. And Doubt decides to fight on the hill. Is this a good fight for him? I think it is. It was 7v7, and he has the hill, and he has the scout. Uh, half of his units are glitched in there, not fighting. But still... That's a good fight for Doubt, and Doubt, I think, he is Huang's with Huang, and I think Doubt is, is in a great position now. This might be the shortest best of five ever, even if it goes to all five games, because this is how a lot of the games might go. I think Huang is just straight up dead now. Honestly, Doubt should take out the barracks. You take the barracks away from Huang, he doesn't know how to play. Man-at-arms on the way. And now Huang is on the way to Feudal Age. Doubt, take out the barracks. Take out the barracks. What's he doing? Okay, well, he's looking to do some damage. He does not know that Huang is house walling. I, you just attack the house, too. With this many militia, it forces a lot of rewalls behind this. I wonder if Doubt could palisade that. I think that's, that's a straggler tree, so that would not be allowed. What if Doubt did that? Because he was tempted? Because you can't palisade straggler trees in, in this tournament. And then he lost the game to an admin win. Nice walls from Huang. Guys, one thing to remember. Huang is really good at fast castle and sneaking. So he will have close to the resources he needs to go up. Doubt also has resources close to what he needs to go up though. I really think Celts are just so much better than this. I'm surprised that Huang didn't pick Celts. Okay, so he's towering his gold. Does Huang know that he doesn't need his buildings to go up to the next stage with Khmer? The other day on his stream, he didn't know that Bulgarians get crab post. So... He could... Oh, he knows! Alright. He knows. He knows, alright. So he's losing a few houses, but who cares? He's not going to produce more villagers. He's on his way up. Doubt is faster. Where will the vi where will the sneak vills be? This strategy for Huang always involves sneak villagers. And what will Doubt do? 
I wonder if Death starts scouting for this sneak fill. Like, pull, pull a few units and patrol them over here. Okay, Huang will see that the army went this way. I bet you he sends a vill this way. I bet you he goes to this hill or something. Another stable. Lots of awkward walls. So two stables. No sneak fill yet. I mean, Celts, they have the faster infantry. They have the faster lumberjacks. So, yes, Khmer farms are really good as the game goes on, but I really do think Celts are way better for, for this type of a strat. Yeah, Doubt's scouting for the sneak fills. He knows that Huang likes to do that. Now, if Huang makes it into Hidden Cup, player identities will be hidden. But in the qualifier, they know exactly what to expect. And if Huang makes it into the main event of Hidden Cup, that would be that would be incredible. He would have to beat Doubt here, and then he'd have to beat Tim in a best of seven. But I have to say, considering the fact that Doubt had all those men at arms, the fact that Huang is still alive is impressive. I don't see any bills yet. Doubt made a stable, and Doubt's making a siege workshop. What if Doubt makes siege, thinking that Huang's going for monks in siege, and Huang never does that? And then Huang just makes more knights and kills the siege. Doubt's going for long swordsmen. Hmm. Lots of repairs on the house. Doubt seems way ahead. He even created a scout. He sees exactly what Huang is up to. And Huang will have armor on the knights. Uh, this actually isn't the best fight for the knights to take. But if Doubt doesn't react immediately, then it can be good. And all right, there we go. Uh, as long as Doubt kills a knight, he'll be happy. Uh, he probably won't. Good micro from Huang, and he'll heal that knight up. Scouts looping around just to get more scouting information for Doubt. And micro from Huang again to, to not lose a knight. Impressive. Oh, Doubt tries to kill the knight with a scout. I don't like that. You might need that for any monk's Doubt. But he's definitely going to pile on the pressure. One TC. Doubt likes to boom, but he knows how dangerous it is to uh, to boom against Huang. So he's just trying to play one TC better than Huang. Huang is still in this game. He's still in the game. Long sword upgrade was a waste. And these will get healed. The Yolo Huang could definitely start to start to come in. But I would expect Doubt's eco to, to creep slightly ahead. It already has been. Now, guys, one thing you don't know. Wong likes to boom now. Not all the time, but I saw him go 8 TCs in one game the other day. It's either 1 TC and no other TCs, or he goes for almost 10 TCs. It's really interesting. He also started to get eco upgrades. And he also, well, sometimes, he's not doing it right now, will not idle his town center anymore. There we go. See, he's creating new vills. So he, there's a reason that he's been stronger over the last couple months, and oh, doubt, 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 no, 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 doubt, doubt, doubt. Oh, doubt loses a knight to a conversion. Oh, and you know that's bad too because he's the lord, so he normally has an advantage with the conversion. So he he loses a knight to a conversion, and he loses a knight to the knights from Huang, and he's gone for siege. And this is my point: siege doesn't really it doesn't help you too much here. He doesn't have his own monastery, and Huang will now back up. This is where the TC starts to get idle for Huang. Is Doubt tempted to use his Scorpions and Maganel? Is he tempted to go for it right now? Huang just sits right in front of you. It's so menacing. And hold on, don't freak out. It was a drop, okay? There was a drop. Don't freak out. I heard about this ahead of time. We have the second part to the game. Do not freak out. Huang is getting redemption. Meaning he can convert enemy siege. Just say thanks DE, both for the drop and the fact that we can thankfully restore this. Because a month ago we couldn't do that. Okay. Doubt's going for three TCs, which is so risky against Wong. He does have a monastery now, and redemption is on the way. If Huang monk micros properly, it's still going to be a very tough game for him. Keep in mind he built the tower and the stone walls. Wow, he's even palisade walling in those gold bills. 18 on gold. But, um... He needs conversions and he needs to push somehow. And the way Doubt has built up his base, it seems pretty well defended. 
Huang could lose a knight to a conversion. He does. Doubt pops out. And is this the game right here? Doubt has so many siege units. I don't think Huang can click fast enough. The scorpions go down. Okay, a mango gets converted. But after all of that, Doubt still has knights around. He has scorpions in here. And this could actually be the game. Remember, Doubt has three town centers behind this. His eco is already better. And so if Huang is not winning fights, he doesn't have much of a chance to win the game. Uh, pretty interesting how it dropped right before that. <laughs> but Doubt knows now, I've weathered the Huang storm, okay? That's what it is, just weather that storm. Huang's not booming, so... Doubt should be pretty good from here on out. And now watch that eco climb. Doubt will have all the resources in the world. Redemption just didn't pay off. It was it was cool how Doubt waited till he had four or five siege units. He didn't just wait for one or two, which is what Redemption is good against. He went for everything at once. Doubt's looking good, guys. He's looking really good. But I can't say after seeing this, because I do think Celts are considerably better. With Wong having Celts and being really good on Gold Rush and and having some maps to play here, I can't really say that Huang can't take games from Doubt today. I was actually surprised at how well Huang held against the Man at Arms. But typical of Huang to just try a bit longer, right? Remember, this is this is the first tournament he's played in. Still one town center. Doubt has 64 villagers to the 50 of Huang. And I think the important resource now for Doubt is the stone. If he ever builds a castle, probably here, and secures his base, there's there's definitely no chance. Feels like there's no chance now, but Huang will try a bit more. Um, I saw... Where's Ghost at? Ghost of Yoda says he's a first-time viewer and he's now subbed for two years. Ghost of Yoda, um, I saw you hanging around again recently. Thank you very much for the two years. Thanks for everything. He's been here a whole lot longer than that. DK, he's been around a long time. Long timer Masons, Odoa, thank you guys. Some of these uh, viewers have been around since Hidden Cup 1. <laughs> is this the Hidden Cup 3 Finals? <laughs> no, it's not. It is not the Hidden Cup 3 Finals. But there's the Castle for Doubt. Again, I think that's the perfect position. And Doubt is going for a sneaky counter attack. Look at the, look at the eco. For Huang. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. And he's so focused on the micro on the front. He doesn't see he's losing villagers. And he calls the GG. He calls the GG. Doubt wins game number one. So Lord wins first game. We'll see if God can come back. I imagine if the home map if the home map options are, are gold rush and slopes, we're probably seeing gold rush next, right? There's no way Huang doesn't go immediately for Gold Rush. He plays that all the time in ranked games. Now, this is a bit different, right? This is uh, it's a more fair version of Gold Rush, but still, Huang is very familiar with it. What are the chances Huang does not pick Celts here? Huang has to go for Celts, right? He likes Celts, he likes Mongols, he likes Huns. He has to go Celts. I was very surprised he didn't. Let's see. All right, here we are, game number two between Doubt and Huang. Doubt went for Burmese, possibly expecting Celts from Huang, and Huang went Celts. All right, so this is the sieve that Huang has been playing with. He loves those speedy militia. He loves the economy. He loves the Mackinels. We saw all of that from Doubt in the previous game. A quick look at the maps tells me that Doubt won't have any complaints. Huang's base is definitely more open. But it's fine, man. If he walls a little bit, the gold's in the back, the stone's in the back. I would say that this is certainly a more awkward base for Huang. But when do we look at Huang's base in Huang games? Never. It's always right here. <laughs> it's always right here. It's always right at the other guy's base and if he can defend. So Now, Burmese, not a sieve that we see picked all that frequently. But they get plus one attack on infantry per age. So Doubt might be thinking about going to Feudal Age for Man at Arms. Honestly? Burmese are pretty good here. Think about it. You also have fantastic monks 
Their monk techs are 50% off. So if you need to convert the Celt Siege, you can. MBL unfortunately couldn't be here to co-cast with me today, but I am going to tell you exactly what MBL would say about beating Huang. You just need redemption, man. All you need is monks with redemption. It's mindless. He does the same thing all the time, and then you convert the siege and win. Easy game. That's what MBL would say. So I really think Burmese are good. You have the potential infantry defense, and then you have the, the conversions. Like, the reason we don't see Burmese picked in ranked games is because you don't know you're up against Huang until you're in the game. So you go for Mayans, or Khmer, or I don't know, what, whatever other Civ floats your boat. But I feel like Burmese... Dow thought this out. Okay, I feel like Burmese is really good at here. Whew. You didn't think that was a good impression? I thought my MBL impression was one of my best. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good, but I thought it was one of my best. I did ask MBL to co-cast round one. Uh, whoa, whoa, Huang is... Huang, no! Oh, God. Guys, he didn't find his sheep. And he has 47 food. Uh, at least he has the wood to build a barracks earlier. Oh, no! GG. No. Why did they give... Why did the devs think it was ever a good idea yeah. to make it possible to kill your boar with your TC? Sure, let's just try it out. See what the community thinks. And then Huang gets used to it. I So I think... I just want to explain what happened there. Uh, he shot the boar with his town center. You cannot take food from a boar with a town center, or if you kill it with a town center or a military unit. Now, I think he tried to bail on it. A lot of players will weaken the boar with their town center and then finish it off with a villager and hunt. But that was a double whammy there because he didn't find his sheep, which were like right over here. He was just one tile away from seeing his sheep. So that was unfortunate. And then he killed the boar with his TC. Oh. Why no restart? You can't restart. You can't restart. It's your five minutes into the game. that He just resigned because he knew he was dead. Unbelievable. And he was dead. There's no sense in trying there because Doubt's already two bills ahead. By the time he gets the three food he needs for the next bill, and the bill after that, he's like five bills behind. You just don't get away with that. Oh, man. I can't admin re, guys. As much as I like Huang, there's no grounds for an admin re. You have to show up and you have to play well, and that's just a bummer. That breaks my heart. All right. Well, Huang loses on what was probably his best home map to beat Doubt. And now game number three is coming up. Game number three will be on slopes. Um, Indians is globally banned. I feel like Mongols is the way to go here with all the hunt. I'm really curious to see what happens in game number three between Doubt and Huang. Uh, just bear with me. Okay. I feel like... What is this? Huh? Huang gave admin win. What? No. Robo, did you do this? I'm, I'm freaking paying this guy. And he just debated me. See, I was really confused. Look at this for a second. Look at this for a second. So these are the recorded games. I went into my replays and I looked at this game three and it said scenario 
and I was about to make fun of Doubt because I thought that Doubt wouldn't be choosing the right map. And this is what... Oh. This is what it was. It even says Doubt vs. Wong. <laughs> this is actually really creative. <laughs> oh, man. So, I don't know how much truth there is to this, but I heard some rumors that Huang might have been having lag issues with his PC, which is really weird because I know he's been playing a lot recently, and he's been streaming, and he's been having no issues. That, or he was just frustrated or disheartened by the whole ordeal, and he decided to, uh, he decided to just give it up. Man, that is so disappointing on so many different levels. I mean, listen, if you didn't expect Doubt to go through, I don't want to call you a fool, but Doubt was expected to go through, all right? I, I was even specti expecting a 3-0, possibly, but I was hoping for maybe a 3-1. I was hoping that Huang would be able to win a few more games, but Huang, we still love you. Guys, there's no game four. Uh, when recorded games are used for casting, I always receive five games, so there's no spoilers. So if you want to see game four, this is game four. Um, is this uh, one of the games over again? Yeah, yeah. So uh, sad times, man. Uh, please salute Huang, who might not be watching. I know we have many Huang fans here, but that was not the best of five that I was expecting. It's not the best of five you were expecting. We didn't even really see a full best of five. Feels bad. But Delt? He gets through? And this is what we need to talk about now, okay? Uh, because that officially concludes round one of the Hidden Cup 3 qualifiers. Now everything is getting really intense. So that means Delt moves on to play Tim, another huge legend of the game. Two of the biggest legends of the game. One from Serbia, one from China. Only one will make it into the main event from Hidden Cup. Okay? Uh, I'll start from the top. Nikov vs. Stark. Stark 3-0 Daniel. Nikov 3-0 Inc. Both undefeated. Both very strong. That's huge. Lan against Vinchester. Both of those players looked very strong. I think uh, that could go either way. Though Lan is probably who most people are picking right now. Bayer and Barls. Barls. He beat Slam 3-1. Many didn't expect that, despite the rankings on paper. It did not make Slam look very good. The Slam will not participate in the main event of Hidden Cup. Barles wants to. Uh, Velez versus Rubenstock. We have the two Finnish pros. They have to play a best of seven to get in. Kind of sucks for Rubenstock, right? Because he might have been training with Velez, but I'm sure he'll have some tricks up his sleeve. Dow and Tim, we already talked about. My God, that's going to be huge. That is going to be huge. Dow and Tim? I think that is... That might be the closest. It is the most epic because of their names. But I also believe that might be the closest best of seven. They've been playing since early 2000s. and They have very similar, very similar styles. Uh, Bact versus Lix. That could be really close. Lix was a maniac against Zupi. Dogal Kazva, Kazva, he has nothing to lose there. Dogal is a beast. Kazva has nothing to lose. He looked great against Nili, though Nili is, is nothing compared to what Dogal is going to bring to the table. And then uh, the last one will be ACCM and Say My Name, two Vietnamese players who know each other very well. So there will be eight players by the end of next weekend that are joining the Viper, Tato, Hera, MBL, Vivi, Yo, Max, Leary in the main event of Hidden Cup. And when they're in, they will be playing with hidden identities and we will no longer know who they are.